Top of the morning to you. We're rolling, or I'm rolling. It's just me this morning. You gotta deal with just me. Uh, cold this morning. 33, nippy. Got some layers on this morning, but we are uh, on the move. We're gonna go back on, on the mountain that we were on yesterday. So we left some turkeys up there. Windy, windy, windy yesterday by the time we left. Um, hoping that put them turkeys back in that bottom that they were over yesterday morning and they'll be somewhere within earshot of where we started yesterday. We're gonna kind of do a deja vu morning, like same thing we did yesterday, get up on the same high point and see if we can't find one. Um, all that being said, we got a nice little hiking again this morning to get up there and let's hope that uh, we don't sweat to death because we put on too many clothes. So, y'all stay tuned, see if we can't find something to put in front of this video camera and shoot at, hopefully. the turkey we left yesterday right on the property line and I think he's probably on the property line again as well. Hesitant to go down there knowing I'm gonna be handcuffed. This turkey that gobbled down in this bowl I can play ball with but he's gobbled twice and he, he's not gobbled again. Turkey's gobbling like mad down there. But I know he's over the line. And now I'm gonna go down there and see it. He's gonna stay over the line. I don't know, man. Sometimes he gobbles and I feel like he's come over in the bottom that's right on the that the line's in. And sometimes I feel like he's on the other side. And I'm already up on top, essentially, to get to him. I gotta go all the way to the bottom. So in order to hunt all this, I gotta come all the way back. So I'm trying to figure out if I just wanna keep the high side and just start trolling. I heard one turkey two times that way that I can hunt. I heard one turkey two times that way that I can't hunt. Then him, raising cane. I think I'm gonna keep the high side and just go up here and go hunting. <laughs> the sun's coming up now and I'm up, climbed all the way up to the top and you can hear forever up here over a big old valley. And uh, unfortunately, the property line's about halfway down this mountain. And I've been, been fortunate enough to find them on this mountain before on my side or call them up off of the private onto this side. But it don't sound like there's one even. That turkey that's gobbling is 
on the opposite mountain up at the top so he's well out of striking distance and unfortunately I saw the one I hear down in there this morning hmm heard three turkeys this morning they're all each up on the mountain and one on the north west and east side of the mountain no wait north south and west side of the mountain nothing on the east no wait Anyways, I got three sides of the mountain covered with a turkey, but I can't get to any of them. I'm on the mountain that's government ground. Ain't not on this mountain. Not today. We're going to keep the high ground and troll back this way a little ways. Because the one turkey that was on good ground was off the back side of this thing. So I'm just about betting that's the same turkey that came in on the bird that we were working yesterday. If you remember that turkey gobbling 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 and there's another turkey come in on the ridge finger beside us and he gobbled I think twice or three times and uh, didn't gobble a lot but gobbled a few times and uh, he only gobbled twice this morning so he must be he might be the big dog he might be the one hanging with the hens he don't he don't have to do a lot of gobbling so I'm gonna stroll that way here in a second just strolling along, staying up top. Turkey's gobbling way over there. Fairly certain I hear someone over there on a pot call working that turkey on the private. But anyways, as I'm coming down this little spine, you can tell how loud the leaves are. I guess I heard the turkey gobble on my side over here. Which would be where I heard that one off roost twice. So what we're going to do is ease down. Try to get to where we can get our ears on that. We're just going to buckle down and wait. And see if he'll uh, give us a clue. That turkey just gobbled down his finger right here. Can't tell how far he was. I was moving. And he's definitely on our side. That's a good thing. He hit a woodpecker again. We may have to wait for that woodpecker to hit it. Get an idea of where this joker's at. Got this big blown down tree right here. I'd love to get to that thing and set up shop there and wait on it. Never mind, can't do that.
Ooh. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Jeez. Holy crap. He was supposed to come down here, not right there. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Wow. What a... I don't like when they're bloody. Dang it. At least he didn't feel a thing. Let me go get the other camera. No idea if I got that. We've been uh, working this turkey for, my GoPro had been on an hour. I'm trying to remember when I turned it on. Probably about when everything started going on. But I'm beside these little, I don't even know what they, little short leaf pines, I guess, these little scrubby pines up on top. Kind of got handcuffed here. I heard this turkey gobble twice down here this morning. We heard him gobble three times yesterday when we were dealing with the other turkey. I climbed up at the top, heard a turkey off the other side, off in the no-fly zone. So I thought, I'm just gonna start running the spine. I was wanting to get to where I could put my ears on where we, I had heard this turkey, and I was just gonna get up here and see it. Well, as I'm moving down, I hear him gobble. And I think, okay, maybe he's gonna do it on his own. When I start easing on down here, I get maybe 150, 200 yards closer. And I hear him gobble again. And he's off the back. And I'm thinking, man, that's perfect. I'm going to get right up to the crest, sit down, let him gobble, figure out where I need to make my move, and then work him. Before I can do it, he had obviously lost his hands or whatever he had going on this morning that caused him not to gobble. And he came right to the top of this big mountain. It's got these little fingers that run off of it and he come up to the top of that and he went to gobbling. And he got up there and he gobbled. And I've been soft calling him. I'm talking soft calling. Most aggressive I got was right before we shot him right there just because I finally caught bits and pieces of him coming off the finger out there. Maybe I'm going to say it's 100, 125 maybe. Probably 100. I caught him come over the top of it and just start moving down. So I turned the camera downhill because if you can see this big rock right in here, that was my opening and I watched him come off the side there and head that way and I thought he'll be right there when I get to shoot him. I turned the camera when I yelped to him because he looked like he was angling like he was going to be too deep down in there for me to get a shot at. So when I heard him walking, I was yelping to him. He'd goggle and I'd yelp to him and just to try to get him to angle a little bit higher because this, I can't point it out to you, but there's a tree, a white tree, not that one. But anyway, there's a white tree down there that I had ranged at 40. I said, I need him there. Well, I turned him too much because he turned and came right up in here. And I don't know if maybe, maybe I had him on camera because he would have been right in there, I think when he popped up over this dog on log. And you can probably hear me shuffling as he's coming in. I'm getting, trying to get a little bit higher up on my butt because I was afraid that these logs may give me an issue. And that's exactly, man, he come up, he drummed. When he drummed, I saw this cap right over the top of that dang log. And boy, he brought it up. He obviously saw something, probably the camera or something. 
he brought it up. He brought that old head up, and we made it to him. Oh, it's a fine day to be a turkey hunter. Beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Y'all wonder why I'm grinning a little bit. Courtney killed her a <clears throat> turkey this morning in North Carolina on public land all by herself. I don't know. I was freaking pumped. That was such a that was a more <laughs> fun hunt than anything I think I've been on this day. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I could sit up here on this mountaintop for days, feels like. Hmm. One of my favorite places in the world right here. One of my absolute favorite places in the world. People would think, <clears throat> with me saying that, it means that the place is covered up with turkeys or something, but it's not. I mean, you can see through the video, I mean, we hear a, a couple turkeys a morning, um, but it's always been like that. Uh, it's not a place that's just saturated with turkeys, you know, um, but just enough turkeys, and there's always seems to be one or two or a couple or a few maybe. <coughs> but it's the places that they live and the... Uh, Yeah, I guess it's just the places that they live, the things that they're vulnerable to, which is yelping and woodsmanship. It's a lot more difficult to use some of the other crutches that are given um, in today's turkey hunting. Uh, these turkeys aren't exposed to that nearly as much considering the steepness and uh, the, the terrain just doesn't, isn't conducive to those type of tools. It's really hard to kill them out of these mountains. You could use bait, I guess. <coughs> but, uh, that's why I like hunting them up here. Mmm, that's fun. Turkeys just do what turkeys are supposed to do. They get with their hands, they feed the ridge sides, they get in the bottoms, and when they go to looking for them, when they lose their hens, they go up high. And that's, that's a fun way of hunting turkeys. <clears throat> hunting turkeys on their own time clock. Just letting them tell you what, what they're thinking by where they're at. When he comes to the top and he starts gobbling on his own, it's time to yelp to him. It's time to get in a position and, and play the game. and. What happened today? But anyways, to celebrate our good fortune up in one of the best places in the world, I'm gonna smoke a cigar. That's a good one. That is a good one. <clears throat> I can't remember the last time I had a bad one, but when I do, I'll tell you all, but this is a good one. Hey, we appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down at the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop-down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.